Si buah? <laughs> Bro, like, I don't know how to say this. Help me. I like this. Food. De bu. Um, eclat soleil. All right, we got it. My, my brother over there trying to give me French lessons and everything. Good. Mm. Lip gloss on my teeth. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Colette, also known as the Melanin Maven. And today I'm going to be doing something completely different. So I know you guys already heard about the Sephora Spring Savings event. I know I'm a little late, but I had to wait for my stuff to get here. And I'm still missing one thing, one item. It um, They said they made an attempt and they make no attempt but i'm still waiting for my one item but um you know what i, I was like you know what i had the majority of uh, my purchases right here because i ordered a whole bunch as well as shop in store and i wasn't going to wait for one more piece just to do this haul for you guys so yeah if you're new to my channel welcome and if you love to see more content like this on my channel please don't forget to thumbs up this video comment down below and let me know if this is what you want to see in the future and also hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss out on any of my upcoming content all right you guys let's get into this haul so i did get um quite a few things and this is kind of a semi-luxury um haul i don't believe i got any skincare everything in here is basically makeup and one thing from hair which that's the only thing that i'm missing um so it's makeup and fragrance so i did get a few samples as well with my orders and the two fragrances, do I have two in here? Yes, two fragrances in here. The two fragrances that I'm going to show you today, one is a repurchase and it is my signature scent. It is my favorite and it is from the line Chanel. You guys, if you know me, you know I love my Chanel. So this is the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle and this is the Intense um intense version and it is the 3.4 fluid ounce so it is the biggest one you guys i don't know if you guys can see that but this is the most delicious sophisticated just amazing smelling rich and classy fragrance ever this is what the bottle looks like you guys i'm going to take it out of the packaging and i did take like the the plastic wrap off of everything too because i don't got time for all of that so you guys do you see this beautiful my camera will focus this beautiful bottle classic chanel design pink juice this is the intense version with me, I like to spend my money on perfumes just because they have a higher concentration. I do not like wasting my money on toilettes. I feel like they are a waste of money, a waste of time because you spray it and the scent is gone. And I'm just not about to spend my money on something that does not last long. So I always go for the intense. The second um, fragrance that I did buy, now I did try... I did try two other fragrances from this line um, and I'm kind of out of them and I I tried it back a few years ago and it is the it was the YSL black opium the original one the first one that came out so it wasn't the intense because they didn't have one I don't believe at the time so I fell in love with it because it is so delicious it's like coffee with vanilla a bunch of sophistication it is just an amazing beautiful packaging everything for me i love my gourmands you guys so yes i'm so excited i get so excited when i mention fragrance or i have to talk to you guys about fragrance because it is something that i actually love and i am building my collection right now as well so well the lat the latest one that they just came out with it is um extreme vanilla and if you are not into those extreme vanilla scents then this fragrance is not going to be something that you love 
and yes these perfumes were on the pricey side you guys these fragrances right here this YSL and the Chanel. I will link all of the prices down below, you guys. You can see for yourself. They were pricey. But that's why you got to buy during the sale. And a lot of these things also are new products that I did um, get. So I'm going to actually start with my face. So I am going to show you a few products um, that I got from Dior. Well, let me actually do it by brand. How about that? So, you guys, I ordered so much stuff that I ended up getting a duplicate samples. I don't know if it was samples or if it was point perks. I don't know. But the Dior Show mascaras, I got two of them, you guys. Two of them came with my purchases and like I said I cannot remember if it was point perks that I use or if it was just samples so yes you guys oh before I forget because before we actually get into the face let me show you guys I got one more coming but I had I just wanted to try this out you know I I love my perfume and I just had to get these I know were samples and I got three of the Killian Love Don't Be Shy samples. Like this stuff, I smelled it in stores. Oh my gosh, it smells delicious. Like marshmallow, sweet cotton candy, vanilla. Oh, it's just a treat on your skin. It just smells delicious. And I, I don't know why I didn't get the bottle. I don't know why I didn't pick up. It's on my net. It's on my list for next time. But you guys, three and one more is coming in my other package. But I got four of these, and yeah, I can't wait to like spritz those. Okay, you guys. Kind of went on a splurge, and I repurchased my absolute favorite foundation, and I am wearing it today. As you guys can see, this foundation is flawless. This foundation just makes you look snatched. Beat, like ugh. I get so many compliments on this foundation at work and it is just amazing it keeps my face um you know just intact all day and I just I'm looking at myself I look this foundation is the bomb okay the bomb and that foundation you guys is the Dior forever and this is in the matte and it is in the shade 6.5 W. This is what I'm wearing today. I absolutely love this foundation. I will never go back to using any other foundation. And I hope that Dior does not discontinue this shade or this foundation or change their formula. Because this formula, uh, this formula, this foundation is just amazing. Like, can you guys, like, see my skin? It is flawless. Flawless. Like, there ain't no other foundation that could top this to me. No other. And this is how the bottle looks, you guys. It's a pretty frosted package. And I done went through, I mean, in the beauty room, I could count about maybe four bottles. Yeah. Yeah. Four bottles within the past two years I've been using this foundation. Amazing. And I don't mind because I invest in my face. First, I invest in my skin. I didn't get any skincare because I already bought a lot of that stuff a while ago. Um, but when it comes to my face looking absolutely stunning, beat, amazing, Dior is number one. So along with that, I also purchased the Dior Forever Glowing Glow Bell, and this is their 24 hour hydrating radiant primer. So I got the mattifying primer, but I got a glowing, I got the mattifying foundation, you guys, but I got the glowing dewy like primer and I cannot wait. Look how beautiful you guys. Look how beautiful that looks. The next thing that I did purchase from Sephora was, well, this is actually for my lips now. So 
It's the Dior Dior Attic Lip Maximizer Lip Gloss. But this is a lip plumper. So I love my lip plumpers. And usually I um, I purchase my Fenty. That's usually my go-to lip gloss. But I cannot wait to try this lip gloss just because I've been eyeing it for a long time. It's been sitting in my basket online. And I've just been waiting to use this. So this is in the shade. What is this shade right here? Number 045 Shimmer Hazelnut. Look at this packaging, you guys. Oh, that is so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it. My camera is not focusing enough, but this is the Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade Shimmering Hazelnut. I cannot wait to try this out, you guys. It's so pretty. It does look like a lip topper, but I doubt it's a lip topper. I believe it is a nice lip plumping gloss can't wait to add this to my collection so yes you guys that was Dior and then I got these like I said I don't know if these were samples or if these were point perks two mascara two mascaras from Dior and they are the Dior show mascara and they are in the shade black I saw the packaging on this powder and I was like I gotta have this it is just bougie central you guys bougie central this is the Gucci I don't know how to pronounce it I'm about to butcher this French Poudre. <laughs> that sounds more Spanish <laughs> De <Bois? laughs> bro like I don't know how to say this help me Um, Eclat Soleil. All right, we got it. My, my brother over there trying to give me French lessons and everything. <laughs> and this is from the brand Gucci, and this is their bronzing powder. Ugh. This focus is ridiculous. But yeah, you guys, when you see this package online, I just couldn't resist it. <gasps> Look at this. It comes in a Gucci pouch, you guys. A Gucci pouch. How cute is that? Now for the final reveal. Look at this beautiful turquoise package. Do you see that? Do y'all see that? That is beautiful. It just feels so luxe. No, I, don't, I had a premonition. I almost dropped this. Whew, almost caught my heart because I almost dropped it on the floor. How the powder looks. I got to hold on to it real tight because I feel like my hand is going to slip. So this is how the powder looks. It is gorgeous. It is a mattifying bronzing powder and I cannot wait to use this. During the summertime, during the fall, all year long, I feel like I'm going to use this. This is right up my alley. I love this reddish brown tint right here. And it is in the shade number five, which is, I think it's the deepest shade. But I'm a chocolate girl, so I need those deep shades. Other face product that I got was from Charlotte Tilbury, and it is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Now, I heard about this spray a while ago and I usually don't set my face um by using setting sprays but I just wanted to try it out you know impulse buying I shouldn't have done it but um I just wanted to try it because it said that it makes your foundation last for up to 16 hours I mean I've tried the benefit cosmetics one that one was okay I tried the urban decay and did not like that the nozzles on those bottles are horrible they mess up your makeup and I that's probably why I don't really like to set my foundation but I wanted to give this a try because I did spray it in store and I like how the nozzle works it gives an even mist all around so you're not having little splotches go everywhere all over your face make, messing up your makeup so this is the full size of the airbrush flawless setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury and this is how it looks you guys all right, can't wait to use that. Let's test the nozzle, make sure that it ain't. 
Okay. And it has like a baby powder scent to it too. So if you guys are not really into scented items, then I wouldn't recommend it because it does have a very strong lingering baby powder scent. So yeah. And basically this is a repurchase. I love all of Rihanna's lip glosses. They're amazing, luminizing, juicy. Um, and some of her lip glosses I already own. So I just I ran out of this one and this was out of stock for a while. And I was just happy that it came back in stock. Finally, I got my hands on it. Um, I actually purchased this in store, so I didn't order it online. And this is the Fenty Heat Gloss Bomb in the shade Hot Chocolate hot chocolate if you don't have hot chocolate in your collection you gotta get it it just makes your lips juicy plump i mean i am wearing her what is this this is the lemon lava gloss bomb that i'm wearing on my lips right now but this right here this on dark skin well any complexion but mainly on dark skin this lip gloss just enhances your lips if you want that juicy pout it gives you that this is an amazing lip gloss i hope rihanna never stops making this that will forever buy her lip glosses and it just it tingles a little bit not spicy like the Too faced one um but yeah this is like my favorite lip gloss i love rihanna's lip glosses and last but not least, you guys, I have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, five items for the eyes. So I did repurchase um, some lashes and I am actually wearing them today. These are the Lily Lashes in the Everyday Miami. And I went ahead and got those again because these lashes are so amazing. Um, they fit my eye shape. I don't really like a lot of those um super big fluffy overweight lashes that look like they're about to fly off your lids i don't like those these are perfect for every day i like them because you can wear them you could get at least 20 wears out of this this set and it'll last you a long time and it is worth the money you guys the miami everyday lashes the everyday miami lashes by lily lashes you guys talking about eyes and i got stuff for my brows all right i got stuff for my brows too you guys but i'm gonna continue with my eyes and under my eye too so i got two mascaras one i've tried in the past is another repurchase and then the other one i'm gonna be trying for the first time so i got the tarte tubing mascara and this is in the mini I did purchase this in store. So cute, good for traveling. Um, this is just something that I'll pop into my purse if I don't wanna take the full size with me. This mascara is amazing because if you don't have any lashes, it makes you look like you have some falsies on. This mascara is great because it combs through each lash evenly, the top layers and the bottom. And I just love the packaging too, it's so pretty. Very girly purple has like little gold i don't know if you guys can see it but this is the travel size so i didn't get the full size and i just love that mascara i love it guys and the last mascara that i got is from the brand ysl and this is the ysl look i'm not about to be saying these french names <laughs> i'm not about to be pronouncing this french but it's the YSL mascara in the gold box, you guys. So I've been eyeing this mascara for a long time, a long, long time. And I just couldn't, I don't know, I just couldn't get myself to just press the purchase button for some reason. I just, I don't know, maybe I was just waiting to, for the sale to come so I can get it. And this mascara is rose gold, you guys. That's like one of my favorite colors. Rose gold. The packaging is rose gold and it has the YSL logo on it. It is so cute. Yes, simple, sleek, and cute. And let's see. Three more items. Huh. 
enough. I did not purchase this. Was, this was a this was a point perk too, you guys. See, I had I can't remember which ones I got for the point perks or what I got for free samples, but this was a point perk, I believe, and it was from Benefit. It's the Fluff Up Brow Wax. So I have a um, the full size one that I'm using right now, and it absolutely is an amazing formula. It lifts my um, my brows and it keeps them and holds them in place so that I can like kind of um, shape and carve out my brows easily. And let me see, uh, yeah, just this little sample, it's cute. All right, so one more item for my brows and then I have a concealer, which is for my face. So yes, um, this is also from the brand Benefit. This is another repurchase. I did own this in the full size. This is the travel size and this is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. An amazing pencil if you really have very sparse and fine brows like me and you have to fill your brows in every day this is a really good pencil to use so you can get the perfect brow remember your brows is not gonna be twins they're gonna be sisters they're not gonna look the same every day um, this is in the shade warm brown black which is a the shade number five and this is what the pencil looks like just a mini version of the full size. Very, very, let's see, let's get that very fine tip. You guys, if you can see that. I don't really like angled brushes just because like I said, my brows are very sparse and I have to fill them in. And this makes it easier for me to do. But not least, um, this is something new because the only concealer that I've owned for the past few years was the LA Girl Pro Concealer and that's the only concealer that I've been using because it's been working for me and it is an amazing formula. So um, this is going to be my first time stepping out of my comfort zone trying a different concealer and this is in Too Faced Born This Way the Ethereal Lights. Hope I said that right illuminating smoothing concealer and this is in the shade chocolate truffle so it comes in this pretty light pink packaging I don't know if you guys can see okay there we go it's the born this way ethereal light illuminating smoothing concealer in chocolate truffle and packaging is pretty light pretty pink and it kind of um kind of reminds me of the la girl pro concealer very lightweight um i did sample it out in the store so yeah you guys this is one of the concealers that i want to try because i heard that it gives you that nice blurred effect under your eyes and we all like a nice blurred effect under the eyes all right, you guys, that is all today for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys um, did a lot of shopping too, got some things that you really wanted during the sale. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video.